Hey guys, I'm Sanjeev and this is lecture number 7 in machine learning section. This lecture will form the basis of our discussion in the upcoming lectures. In this lecture, I will discuss about the non-linear basis functions and trade-off between selecting polymer functions for a basis. I will also discuss about the analytical solution of these problems. I will also discuss about the trade-off associated between selecting a basis function that is uh, analyzing problem of underfitting and overfitting. In the end, I will also discuss about the Alban norm regularization. So, let's get into it. So recall from the first lecture, uh, we already considered the linear regression that is line fitting problem uh, in which we predicted W transpose XI that is fitting hyperplane in n dimension space. This is equal to summation over all J, WJ, XIJ where XI is a particular training instance. So here we consider a different kind of fitting we will define a basis function so our problem will be w transpose f of xi where f of xi is our basis function I will explain what this means this is equal to summation of all j from 1 to n wj fij you just replace xij with fij and the problem will be same as we consider in the linear fitting so till now we consider xi is x0i, x1i up to xji that up to xni that is uh, our feature vector was set of our features now we define a basis function and uh, so consider single training example x and considering single vector x therefore removing i subscript i superscript for uncluttered notation where we just uh, removed the superscript i from x and our basis function f of x is f0, f1, f2 up to fn transpose that is it is a column vector where f0 is equal to 1 this is our weight vector as it was defined in the, in the linear regression problem with b represented as w0 and our prediction problem now becomes w transpose f of x that is summation over all j, wj, f of j In, in the linear regression problem, uh, your xi, there is a feature vector, was set of your features. There is a vector representing various features, the feature x0i, x1i, x2i, so likewise xji. Here the basis function, here the components of basis function can be any function of a feature. Like uh, f1 can represent x1 raised to power 10 and, like, and likewise f2 can represent x2 to the power say 1.3 so so your basis function f of x now represent a vector which contains the function of your various features so your basis function f of x now represent a vector whose components are functions of your features so the key point is the prediction problem is linear in parameters of weights this is w vector of parameters and this is a basis function so this problem is linear in parameters so the key point is the prediction problem is still linear in parameters here this is your parameter vector w and this is your basis function and your prediction problem is w transpose f of x that is summation of all i that is summation of all j from 1 to n wj f of j so this is still a linear problem in your parameters so the underlying problem is minimize over your parameters summation of all i from 1 to n that is summation over all your training instances now y i minus double transpose f x i squared so this is a uh, so this is the error function that we have to minimize now we consider the model selection the problem of model selection how to differentiate between choosing various models for regression tasks so the answer to this question is 
it's hard to comment directly as it is task dependent and requires prior knowledge and some of your ex and uh, some of your examples are shown suppose there is your data set and you want to fit a line to this data set so your basis function is f1 comma f2 there is vector of f1 and f2 column vector and here we are explicitly representing f0 as 1 therefore we are explicitly representing w0 as b f1 is directly x and f2 is y let me tell you this data set is actually x plus y squared with added noise added random noise this data set is actually x plus y squared with added random noise and now we consider a basis function that is x comma y transpose there is a column vector of x and y and if you fit this problem then you will get w as 11 comma 11 that is w1 and w2 are 11 11 and your b is minus is negative 77 so this is the fitting that you get if you fit a linear model to this data set now consider this is your basis function that is x comma y comma y squared y cube and y to 4 is the column vector and if you fit this basis function to this data set you will get this this curve where your parameter w is 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 0 0 and your b is 4.6175 times 10 to negative 14 so this is a fitting that you will get after fitting this basis function so consider another data set and this will give you the idea of overfitting and underfitting so this was a data set and we can clearly see that linear fitting is underestimating our data set therefore this is an underfitting problem that is your your line cannot exactly fit your data set and this is a curve and actually we can also fit x comma y square to this data set and we will get approximately the same curve so there is no need to go for y to power 4 and y cube as it will take a lot of computation time so we can also fit x comma y square to this data set and we will get approximately the same match this is a data set that will highlight the problem of underfitting and overfitting this was the problem of overfitting and this will be cleared in this data set this is your data set and this data set is again x plus y squared with added noise added random noise so this is the result of linear fitting x comma y as you can clearly see this is a problem of underfitting your line cannot fit to your data set exactly and these are your parameters W1 is 10.0062, W2 is 10.0062, and W0 or B is negative 40.8825. So, this is a problem of underfitting. As you can clearly see, it cannot exactly fit our data set. Now, consider another basis function that is y, y squared, and you will get this curve. And as you can clearly see, due to these noise, this curve is slightly lifted from these points okay so this is the effect of your noise on this fitting now consider another fitting that is another basis function 